I've been dancing since first grade. Lyrical ballet has been part of Rayanna's life for nearly 20 years. I came here every single day after school and danced, and probably four to five days a week I was at the studio. More than just a hobby during the after school hours, dancing proved a way for Rayanna to keep moving through an event that stopped time for her family almost a decade ago. It was really my saving grace after Tyler died, being able to dance and express myself and have that physical activity attached to the emotional release. Really pictures are all that I have. Rayanna has dozens of those, filling up four albums in all. Still have the memories. Snapshots of memorable moments from a childhood spent with her older brother, Tyler. My mom's really good at taking pictures of all of us when we've opened a present, so here's Tyler opening one of his. The pictures capture other moments, too. This picture here was the first time that my parents had taken us to the spot that Tyler had ended his life. Exactly nine years ago, time stopped moving for Rayanna's family and for her 18-year-old brother Tyler, who took his own life after coming down from a methamphetamine high in 2005. This is essentially the last time that my entire family was all together was when we were putting my brother in the ground. And um, I'm really glad that we have these pictures because it really showcases how much we had to come together at that time. <sighs> Today, nearly a decade later, Rihanna can look back and smile when she goes through these pictures. It is amazing to look back and see how much my family has grown since, since we lost Tyler. She has grown, too, into a college graduate and two-time winner of the Miss Wisconsin title, something she calls a way to live out Tyler's legacy. Everybody grieves in a different way, and for me, this was my way of going out and making a difference and trying to have a positive impact after this tragedy that affected my family. And in all honesty, it was my way of becoming closer to my brother. You know, this is where we said goodbye to Tyler, but it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be the end all. Through her title, Rihanna is continuing Tyler's story. Her entire pageant platform revolves around her brother's experience and helping other families navigate those tough conversations on substance abuse. There are people living today that feel that fear and feel that shame and feel that sadness. And for those out there that, that judge and, and are shameful of, of those people that are struggling with substance abuse or addiction, they need to hear this story and they need to understand the person behind the addiction. I think about Tyler before I go out and perform it every single time. Rihanna has danced to the same song for four years in front of a crowd of strangers as she competed for the Miss Wisconsin title. But to her, it's much more personal. I'm usually standing backstage with my hands like this, and my eyes closed, and I'm praying and I'm talking to Tyler. More than her talent or her title, it's that personal story that pushes Rihanna on. And with Tyler's memory, she's hoping to make a difference for other families.